hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to configure data source on weblogic server using MySQL uh, database so let's go to the directory where I had installed my weblogic server so that is in F drive and the directory name is weblogic and inside that you have a user projects and within that we have a domains and uh, this folder basically contains the domains which we had created earlier so in earlier video tutorial we had created a domain is called domain one so go to inside this and inside this we have a bean directory so here you just open a command prompt and uh, here first of all I we need to start a admin server so here we'll have to write start Uh, not managed but start weblogic.cmd and press enter and uh, after certain while our weblogic admin server will be started so just wait for few seconds until unless uh, weblogic server mode turns into running mode and now saying that server state change to running and now go to the uh, browser so you can open any browser I'm going to open uh, Chrome so here you will have to type this URL localhost colon 7001 slash console and here you need to specify the uh, weblogic username that we had given at the time of installation so username is weblogic password is weblogic weblogic1 so enter your credential and after few seconds you will be uh, navigated to the uh, admin console and here you can see uh, my username is weblogic so and domain is domain1 so currently my weblogic is connected with domain1 and here in left panel you can see you have a, a services option so click on the service expand this uh, option then you will have then inside the services you have data source so click on the data source and here uh, you can see we have option is called new so click on the new and there are many options you will have to select the first option generic data source so click on the generic data source then you will be navigated here so here name of the data source you can specify so you can even leave the default one but I will request you to don't leave the default one here I am going to uh, specify JDBC DS right so this is my data uh, source name right and here you need to specify the JNDI name so JNDI name uh, that you will access in your source code so I'm going to specify book store dash JDBC TS something like that whatever name you want you can specify right so this is our JNDI name and database we are going to select MySQL so basically we are going to uh, connect with the MySQL so MySQL and click on the next button now you will be navigated to this page here nothing will have to select already in previous page we had selected mysql database so based, based on that information uh, uh, logic already selected type 4 driver so now let's click on the next and uh, again you need to click on the next now here you need to specify the database name so database name I'm gonna specify JD BC DB so make sure that this schema you would have created in your database now host name I'm going to specify localhost this is the name where your MySQL server is running so that is running locally if you want to connect with remotely then you need to specify the host name of that machine or IP address of the, that machine now you need to specify the port of the, your database server that is 3306 itself now database username that is root in my case and password also I had given the root uh, if you 
whatever password you have, would have enter while installing the MySQL database CM you will have to specify here now click on the next now on this page you can click on the test configuration so saying that connection test succeeded means everything is fine now keep everything uh, default one on this page and uh, you can click on the next and here once you create your data source then you need to deploy this data source on the some server right in in our case in this domain we had create we had one admin server every domain in web logic will have one admin server and multiple managed server or cluster uh, you, you can have but here i don't i want to deploy this uh, data source on the admin server only if you want to deploy this uh, data source on the multiple server then you have a checkbox you can select but i want to deploy in the admin server so that's why i have selected admin server and you can click on the finish and you can see this data source is reflected here name and jndi name everything is type of data source everything you can see over here and targeted is admin server if you would have selected server 1 and server 2 then you would have got uh, admin server uh, server 1 and server 2 so i had deployed this data source in the admin server that's why you are uh, you can see uh, targets are targets is only admin server so in this video tutorial we have learned how to configure a data source so once you configure data so then let's click on this data source uh, jdbc ds what we have configured and here you can go and select connection pool right and here you have an opportunity to pass different parameter like initial capacity suppose default is one i'm going to specify then maximum capacity 150 and minimum capacity i'm going to specify 10 and a statement cache size size so that i'm keeping as it is how many statement you want to cache in the server cache right you use the prepare statement and callable statement these statements may be cached so those are the information you need to specify here maximum capacity how many uh, i mean how many connection pool will be managed by the server etc and let's click on the save and everything is saved successfully now uh, in this video tutorial now you have learned uh, how to configure data source and how to set the connection pool parameters right so in in next video tutorial i'm going to use same this data source in our uh, project and we'll see how to uh, how to get how to how to uh, perform jdbc connection pool using uh, wave logic that example we'll see through a uh, web based application in the next project or next video so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial